Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create Gantt charts in Excel. So before we begin, make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda for today's discussion that is how to create Gantt charts in Excel. Now for this particular example, we are going to use the employees data. Now let's quickly get back to the practical mode and enter into Excel. Now you can see that we are on Excel sheet right now. So let me expand my screen a little bit so that the data is a little more visible. Yeah. So here on my screen, you can see that we have employees data. So the first column is the name of the employees and the second column is the start dates of the employees that when have they started working with the organization and when they have ended or resigned to their position in that particular organization and the duration gives us the number of days they have worked in that particular organization. So to create a Gantt chart is really simple. You just have to select the data and then go to the insert option and in there you can see the charts icon and select all charts and in that select the bar chart and here you can see the stacked bar chart select that and press ok and there you go you have the stacked bar chart right on your screen let's expand this a little more so that we have the clear visualization of the dates as well now you can if you want you can change the title as org data or employee data And now we are partially done with our chart. Now the next thing we have to do is select the bar chart, right click on it, select data and here select the add icon. Now you need to select the series name. So the series name is duration for our Gantt chart and series values are, let's select this and select, let's move a little. Yeah, so these are the data series. Let's select OK and you can see the Gantt chart on my screen right here. Select OK and it's done. And still now it's not complete yet. So to finish it, you need to select the blue colored bars here and right click on them and select format data series. Go to the fill icon and select no fill. And it's done for now and you can see that there is a difference in this particular arrangement we had joe at the first place and susan at the last place but here you can see joe is in the last place and susan is in the first place so we need to make some arrangements here for that right click select format access and then here you can see categorize in reverse order and there you go it should be done and there you go, you have your Gantt chart right on your screen. So I hope this was clear. With that, we have come to an end of this tutorial on how to create Gantt charts. If you have any queries regarding the topics discussed in this particular tutorial, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below. Our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.